Hey, I'm Steve Nash. Thanks for joining me. Young players, fans, people are always asking me what I do to work on my game. What I do when I come to the gym all by myself. You know, how do I get better? So we thought we'd get some cameras, an empty gym, give you guys a little behind the scenes sneak peek of what I like to do. We got 20 minutes on the clock, let's get started. When I start my workouts, I always like to start in close to the basket. Work on my form, my release, my touch. Oh, brutal. You know, get myself going, try to get hot. One of the great things about starting in close, the basket gets real big. You get a lot of confidence when you move back a little bit. Yeah, sometimes I can shoot maybe 50 of these just to get started. Actually, I make 50. I never come to the gym and count how many shots I take. I always count how many I make. I don't mind rebounding for myself. Gets me a little sweat. Gets me warmed up. Can work on my ball handling. I won't make 50 uh, in tight today. I'll move out a little bit. Try to make five or 10 of these. Oh, go get it. Oh, two in a row, it's brutal. There we go. Starting to get warm now. The crazy thing is I love doing this. It's always nice to have a rebounder, but sometimes I just love being in the gym by myself. Make a couple in a row here. Two. Three. All right. Get a couple banks in. Usually when I'm doing this, I change shots. I like to make 10, sometimes 10 in a row before I move on to the next shot. I don't know, that's about six or seven. Move up to the elbow. Getting boring, I'm making every shot. Will I jinx myself? Make a couple more from the elbow. All right, make a couple runners. Like I said, I usually like to make 10 of these on each shot, sometimes 10 in a row. I love shooting runners. When you're a little scrawny, six foot point guard in the NBA, can't really jump. You know, I don't really feel that confident challenging Shaq or Yao Ming. So I can always kind of pull up a little one-legged runner in the lane. Couple off the glass. Oh, and I just did that to trick you guys. Starting to get my heart rate up. A little more than what it'll be like in a game. Last high archer. Oh. There it is. All right. 
work in a few hesitations to a pull up. One of my favorite moves. You know, you have play point guard in the NBA. They like to switch the pick and rolls a lot. So you often have a big guy on you. It's a great way to make a little move, get yourself open for a short little jump shot. Ah, this is supposed to be my bread and butter. It's good though. Practice shooting when you get a little tired. Work on your ball handling. Makes it a little more game-like. Just make a couple more because I like this shot so much. Last one. All right, sweet. Take it down in the post. Work on some turnarounds. I know what you're thinking. Too small to play in the post. But you never know. Sometimes you're feeling hot. You got your confidence going. Catch a pass down low, you gotta have something to go to. It's also great sometimes when you penetrate, you get stuck down low. You didn't necessarily want a, a post up or an ISO, but you're stuck. You wanna work, you, need, you wanna work at something that can get you out of a little bind. All right, it's about eight or nine off the right shoulder. Do some off the left. This used to be one of my favorite moves, especially off the spin move, but I felt so predictable. I really started working at going over the other shoulder. So I feel pretty confident going both ways. You guys think I'm getting tired? All right, work at a couple little hook shots. You know, I'm not much of a leaper. You gotta have something to go do down here. Playing against the big guys. Gotta have both hands. Come on, lefty. There it is. Nice. Give me a roll. There it is. Four. Ah. Five. Uh, as I get older, I think I'm gonna have to use this shot a lot more. Uh, one more each side. Last one, make it a good one. Brutal. My left's better than my right. Oh, come on now. Yes. All right. Work at a couple pull-up jumpers here, going each way. It's a great shot for all point guards. Let's transition, pick and roll, one-on-one. -on -one. 
Use your quickness to get a guy on his heels. Pull up for a little jumper. My high school coach used to always teach me. Pull up at the foul line. Ah, he'd be mad at me right now. He still emails me during the season. He tells me I'm passing up too many foul line pull-ups. Sad thing is he's right. It's a great shot for me. Get in a couple more. Last one. Ah, can't end on a mate, on a miss. I gotta go back and make two now. Gotta keep my eyes up. It's another thing my high school coach always tells me. Eyes up. All right, now I'm gonna spin. Go, let's get on a roll. Man, these rims aren't that friendly today. Nice. Let's go, make three or four in a row. Get in there. Come on now, three in a row. I'm not tired. One. Two. One more. Balance. Three. All right. Move it out a little bit here. Make some college threes. Ah. This is great for me. Get tired. Legs start to go. Start losing my concentration. It's like my coach always reminds me. Back to basics. Use my legs. Eyes up. Good technique. Great thing about this too is Way better than running on a treadmill. It can be so boring running on a treadmill. As you can see, my wind's up, heart rate's up. Ah, I'm getting a great workout in. Legs. Legs go, your shot goes. Nice. Legs are getting heavy, but I'm hanging in there. Come on, make two in a row.
Ah, let's make two more. I didn't like that one. One more. That's good. All right. Couple step backs. Take your man in, pop back. This is a tough move for me. Always trying to pull back on balance. Especially tough when I'm tired. That's why I saved it. I'm not as good stepping back to my right either. Yes. Get in there. Yeah. Stuck in the corner. Step back. Brick it up. That's right. Try it again. A couple more. Get it up. Two more. Oh, I'm tired. Get it up. Balance up. Nice. All right. Couple pick and rolls. It's another great shot for me. I'm lucky enough to play with Amari Stoudemire. He sets a pick for me. You know, not a lot of big guys are going to want to leave him. So I get a couple open looks. If they make a mistake, it's my job to make them pay. So the next time, Amari gets wide open, so I just made a jump shot. You guys know what Amari can do when he gets it, don't you? Sometimes we get a little side pick and roll where you go down away from the middle of the court. Sometimes we do it where you take them to the sideline, set them up, come up. Hopefully make it. This is great for me. Trying to stay balanced when I'm tired. Yo! Last one. All right. Last but not least, some NBA trees. It's the best to do when you're tired. The end of your workout. So your mechanics are pure. So if you're tired, and you're not making it because you're not on balance, not using your legs. Your legs go. Doesn't matter what you do up top. Feeling good from three. Yep, jinx myself. A couple more. Ah, lean back. Here she is.
make a few more before I move on. That's it. That's 20 minutes. Man. I was ready to keep going. Let me make a couple more. I always want to feel good before I go. <laughs> Excuse me. Good defense. Teaching myself right now. One more. Use your legs when you're tired. Ready? All right. Thanks for joining me behind the scenes. It's just a quick 20 minutes. Some of the shots I take in the game, that's why I come in and practice them. Sometimes you don't have all day. Sometimes you want to work out a second time. You don't want to get too tired. 20 minutes is perfect. Thanks for coming. Later.